By the end of this vid, I'm gonna have this attack feel and nice and juicy. So stick around and see what that looks like. If you're new around here, what's going on? My name's Randy, let's get to work. So step one is gonna be getting these enemies to attack the base properly. So I got that working, he's just bouncing off the wall now. The next thing I need is just a feedback on the hit. So step one for that, we'll bit open the best door in the world. Bring in a couple of the sound effects. So that works all right, but it could be better. So what I like to do is just throw a kick drum underneath it for a bit more impact. I'm gonna make it too loud, just nice and subtle. So it's just got a little bit more of that oomph. Now we'll pack those up, wood, impact, render them out, and we'll chuck them into F mod. Chuck a little bit of random modulation on the pitch. Play that, there we go. Like that kick actually feels a little bit too loud. Also, I forgot to shorten these a bit. There we go, that should be a little bit better. That's feeling all right. Sound effects are so much bang for buck. I love it, but we can do better. By the way, I'm about to do a Patreon Q&A, so if there's some questions burning in the back of your mind and you want to ask them, follow the Patreon link down in the description and uh, you'll see some more info over there. It is finally time to figure out how the hell to do a good impact visual effect. So I think step one is the particles. So that's the impact point right there. I think that might work. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just making this up. <laughs> that actually doesn't look too bad. I think it's a good step. The next thing I want to do is see if I can just make it jiggle a little bit on the hit. Because the other day we got the slime stretching and squashing. So let's do the same thing for everything else. So I'm going to clean up the entity rendering a little bit. Make everything hit this one single render entity. And I'm going to make use of the new way of doing transforms. And just convert that over and see how it goes. There we go, we got the entities rendering again. So now that everything hits the one path, we're basically just gonna put in like a hit squish timer. <laughs> nice. There we go, nice and subtle. I don't know if squishing it is the play. Like maybe we do the inverse, like just stretch it up. I don't know. I'm sure you guys in the comments will tell me what to do. Now we'll just make that happen for every hit. And look at that. We got a little stretch going. Yeah, I think the squish makes more sense because it's like horizontal. <laughs> that looks so strange on the trees. Like it looks fine on the bushes, but like the tree. <laughs> Maybe it's just a matter of like reducing the effect with like a hit squish scale. So by default 1.0, then we can go into the setup of the oak tree and then just like change that to scale it down a bit. Make it more subtle. There we go. I think I might also need a different easing curve for that. So right now what we're doing, I don't know how to clamp it to a range like this. Oh, look at that. So this line right here is the hit squish timer. So as soon as we hit, it starts here and then plays out for 200 milliseconds and then it's complete up there. So what I'm doing right now is taking that line and bending it into that, it's hit, then right in the center at 100 milliseconds, we're at the peak of the stretch and then the timer completes and it goes back to normal. So we're gonna watch that in slow-mo. The screen shake kind of ruins it a bit. <laughs> but I just want more control over this. I almost wanna like split this up into two. So we've got this function here, and then we've got this function here. I don't know what I want, man. Oh, that feels so much better without the screen shake. I'm not gonna be sick anymore. There we go, I think that's doing what I want to now. I mean, look, that's, that's more than good enough. We could just leave it at that. That's hit feedback done. At least the first pass, good enough for now. This is kind of confusing, but basically what I just did there is I broke up the animation into two segments. So we have the start here and then we have the end here. Pretend I'm good at drawing lines. So now they're broken up into two segments, the start and the end. So now I can take this and ease it into whatever shape I want. So I just did like an ease out back and then I just left the end as like a linear drop off because I want like that instant hit feedback, right? Stretching straight out away, but then like a slow kind of return to the normal. I'm sure I could have done that differently and better. And I'm sure you guys have some better ideas for how I could do this, but uh, this is what I thought of and this works, so fuck you. Now what I wanna do is basically fix it so that when there's a bunch of enemies attacking, it doesn't break and you know, people slip through. That's just happening because of the damage cooldown at the moment. And I think I know how to fix that. So I think we can just flip the idea on its head and make the slime have an attack cooldown rather than the target entity having a damage cooldown. I think that'll work. Bro, there's like fucking five different cooldowns in here. <laughs> 
And then we can just if that off with the attack cooldown. Now we spawn a bunch in. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Boop. So now we just need some proper feedback for when the walls get yeeted. I mean, to be fair, like, that's actually good enough. It just works right now. Because in the future, I don't actually want to destroy it. I want it to just break down and then you repair it. Actually, that's like too complicated. Why the fuck are we even doing that? We're actually going to cut that. Simple. I mean, like, the only issue now is... Chill, bro, chill. So the only issue now is what happens when we take care of the enemy and we want to repair the wall. What do? So let's make some repair functionality real quick. Oh, uh, this is going to be a bit tricky. Type of programming time lapse. Okay, so I think I've got the first step here. Like that should give us an array of everything we need to repair the structure. And we'll actually just calculate that every frame for all the repairable entities and stuff it in the entity frame state. For each entity, I basically have this little struct called frame uh, and it just zeroes it out every single frame, which is kind of handy. In fact, like this is actually allocating memory as well. But like we're not having to worry about freeing it or anything because the allocator we're using is the frame allocator. And that's just a memory arena or linear allocator, whatever you want to call it, that gets zeroed every single frame as well. Who needs memory management? Memory management is for chumps. Just pick your lifetime, which is memory management still. It's just like a different kind of memory management. It's like lifetime management, I guess. I don't know. I want to give a big shout out to all my RAII homies. <laughs> So now these, in theory, should have a nice list of items that I need to repair them. Uh, so the next step is just rendering that. So let's get it going. Wow, it's really amazing what you can do if you just sit down and start something for like a couple minutes. I didn't even feel like sitting down and doing this, but I was like, you know what, let me just do it for a couple of minutes. And then like, and then before I know it, you know, an hour is passed. And it's like, oh, wow. Just getting over that like initial hump of not wanting to do the work, but just doing that anyway, like pushing through that. You just slip straight into flow. Simple as that. And then of course get taken out of flow by trying to explain how in flow you are. Oh, uh, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> the content must be recorded. Go! All right, so that list of things is working well. So what we're gonna do is loop through the player's inventory and then check if the inventory item is equal to the item that we need. If so, then we can interact. It's a little bit funky, but that's all right. <laughs> so now if we go and collect a little bit of fiber. Sweet, that consumes it. Now the next thing we need to do is just like give it back health. So we go, this is going to be a little scuffed, but it'll work. So I think that'll work. We're just like restoring a little health chunk. Let's go. That is repairing. And then if it's the final one, we'll just nudge it to be max health. <laughs> that way we don't have to worry about even divisions. So I think that'll just work. So we're taking the wood and we need some fiber. Look at that. We are now ready for an army of slimes. All right, that's going to be me done for the day. See you in the next one.